Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to update an existing SSAS cube which is deployed in our SSAS server that is SQL server and at the time of deployment, let us see some of the SSAS deployment options. Now for the purpose of this video tutorial, we will use the SSAS cube having star schema, the simple SSAS cube that we have developed in our last video tutorial. Okay, so let us first of all go to our SSAS cube that we had developed in the last video tutorial. Okay, now it has been deployed in our SSAS server. Okay, inside this database, this is our SSAS cube, right? There is the sales cube. Now, now let us go to Excel. Okay. Let us connect to our SSAS cube. So this is our sales cube in our DB1 database. So now we can see that in this particular cube we can see the sales data, but for the products, we have only English product name apart from the product key. Okay, so if we select the English product name, we can get the sales amount for each and every product, okay, with respect to the product name. But in this particular SSAS cube, we had only one extra attribute apart from the product key inside the products data dimension. We had only one attribute that is English product name. What if we want an extra attribute over here? That is we also want the product size. So let's see how we can achieve this. Let's go to our solution in the customer in the products dimension. There is only English product name right now. So let us add one more attribute size over here. Let us save. Let us go here. And let us go to the deploy option now before going to deploy option let us understand which are these other things being shown over here the first is the build option build will only check the syntax of this particular cube okay or any code that we may have written inside the ssas cube it will only check and validate the syntax and also it will validate the database connections now Deploy will take these things that is all the structural information that we have defined for our SSAS cube in our development environment that is in SSDT. It will take everything of this structural information and it will put it into the database server, SSAS server that is our SQL server as analysis component. Now the third option, third option is process process will actually read this information of the structural information about the cube over here in OLAP database and then it will fetch or read that data from our source system and bring that data in the desired format into our SSAS that is OLAP database okay so these are the three parts but now when we go and we say deploy it usually does both the things right it goes and deploys as well as it processes so why this is happening so let us understand it now in our deployment right now we have mentioned this is the default option deploy changes only that is it will only take the incremental changes into consideration so whatever changes has been made structurally to the SSAS cube inside our SSDT only that delta portion that is the incremental changes will be taken into consideration okay we could have selected the deploy all option meaning all the structural information from our SSDT has to be taken and has to be put again back to the OLAP server okay that is SSAS SQL server database okay now the default option for processing is default 
This means that even the delta portion or the incremental portion for the business data will also be processed. And that's why we are always seeing over here, we are always seeing status as deployed and processed. Now, we are deploying right now. We can see that deploying and processing both are happening, right? Now, there are some other options also. So, let us see them. Do not process means we only want to take the structural information about the cube from our SSDT into our SSAS database. We do not want SSAS database that is OLAP database to fetch data from the source system. So that is the case when we select do not process option. And only at that, only in that case, when data has not been processed, we, we use this option that is we come to process button and click this button that is once the structural information has been deployed to the server and if data has not been processed then we can come and only process the data okay and the last option is full meaning the full data has to be replaced okay so if we take this option then the whole data which is there in the OLAP, OLAP server will be replaced by fetching the full data from the source system so these are the different options also if we go to process so we can have three options right default is the default behavior that is incremental data load process full meaning it will fetch or load the whole data required in the OLAP uh, database and process clear means it will it will clear out all the data that is there in the OLAP server, which means it will maintain the structural information about the OLAP database or the cube, but it will delete or remove all the data inside it. Okay. So afterwards we can again go to full option and we can load the whole data again. Right. So these are some of the options which are used during the deployment of the SSAS cube from SSDT into our SQL Server Database Analysis Services. Okay, so now for the time being, we have seen this message that is our cube has been deployed successfully. So let us go to our SQL Server. Okay, so the cube must have been uh, the attributes must have been here. Now let us again start a new session of Excel. Let's go to Data Source. So now we can see that the size attribute has also come. Okay. Now this attribute has been added as an extra attribute. So if you want to analyze now sales based on the, the product size, that also we can do. Okay. Based on let's say product and product size, that, that also can be achieved now. Okay. Okay. So these are the different products which are in this size. These are the different products which are in this size, 40 size and in 42 size, these are the products. So I hope, I hope friends, this video tutorial on how to add any features in our SSAS cube, that is how to update our SSAS cube is useful to you. Thank you.